How's it going? Tyler here with Main Angling. Going to be doing a quick tying tutorial on a rolled muddler minnow. This is all you're going to need for it. You can see we have uh, a bead head, some tinsel for the body, mallard for the tail and the wing, and some deer hair for the collar up front there. Going to start by tying in our mallard at the tail. Um, you can tie this in as long or as short as you want to change the size of the fly. Um, when doing this kind of fly with when you want a smooth body I like to tie all my materials in the full length of the hook that way you don't have to do any weird tapering with your thread throughout the body And next up we're going to tie in our gold wire This isn't really that much aesthetic as it is for extra strength as oftentimes the uh, diamond braid will fray um, after you get a number of fish so tie that in then tie in the diamond braid wrap that all to the front and tie off Now if your underbody is a little uneven, you can still adjust how this diamond braid sits by just varying your tension. So if you're finding any high spots or low spots, you can just adjust your tension to, to make up for that and get a nice flat level body there. All right, once that's done up and tied off, you're going to get your mallard, and you're going to want to tie it in to about the same length that you have your tail set up. Um, if anything, go a bit shorter, don't go longer, otherwise it'll start to foul up a bit. Um, tie that in, cut it off, and get ready with your deer hair. Now to prepare your deer hair, you're going to want to take as much of the under fur out as possible and stack it quite well for spinning it. Um, one of the things I like to do in a good trick is to actually pre-cut the deer hair to length. So I did that here and then you'll do two loose wraps around the deer hair and pull tight and that'll get you a nice, um, a nice flare that you don't actually have to spend that much time trimming at least the front half. Um, once that's tied in, just whip finish and then trim to your desired uh, profiles. I like to leave mine a little bit bulkier than some people with a little bit more um, of the natural tip sticking out, but uh, that is to each their own. And this is a great pattern for uh, sear and cutthroat, rainbow trout, and salmon in different colors. So hope you enjoy it and it finds a nice spot in your box.